With 2020 fast approaching the fall holidays, we can only imagine how much different they will be this year considering the COVID-19 pandemic is still running wild in pretty much every part of the world. As much as we don't want to guys, we have to adjust to the coronavirus and avoid catching it or spreading it. So when it comes to this year's Halloween, I came up with some very simple yet very safe ways to still have fun while you're out trick-or-treating or giving out candy on October 31st. But before we get to those ideas, I'd like to announce the giveaways for this video and since we're dealing with Halloween, it's only appropriate that I do some candy giveaways. So here are the like goals. If this video gets 2000 likes, I will give away a treat basket filled with 500 pieces of candy. Now if this video gets 5000 likes, I will give away a treat basket filled with 1000 pieces of candy. And last but not least, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will give away a treat basket filled with 2,000 pieces of candy. And to participate in these giveaways, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below telling me what your top 3 favorite candy bars are. Remember that these giveaways are open to all my subscribers no matter where you live or what your age is, you're always eligible to enter just like this video and leave a cool comment below. And just another friendly reminder, I do have memberships open so if you want to join my community, all you have to do is click on the join button next to the subscribe button. You can't miss it. And guys, this video might actually be one of my last videos where my channel is under 2 million subscribers. We are fast approaching that number and it's all because of awesome fans like you guys. Thank you pranksters. Now let's get to these awesome Halloween hacks. Alright guys, as we all know, COVID-19 risks are present pretty much everywhere these days and we gotta follow certain procedures to stay safe such as social distancing and mask wearing. Most of you guys know I caught the coronavirus over the summer, so I feel like it's my responsibility to keep endorsing safe measures to stay COVID free. So that brings me to trick or treating. Although trick or treating takes place out in the open, at times you will come across other trick or treaters and social distancing might not be possible. Also knocking on neighbors doors will be another tough task when you want to avoid large groups of people. But don't worry, here are some fun ideas that will help you whether you are trick or treating or if you are passing out candy this Halloween. This right here is a cheap $10 Megalodon remote control monster truck. You can get your own at your local Walmart and again whether you're on the trick or treating side or on the passing out candy side, you can still use one of these to social distance yourself. Basically all you have to do is take an RC truck with you and from a distance have your toy take the risk for you. Of course stay within range of the signal of your remote control. And this this really works. These are the benefits of using a remote control car or truck. Not only is it easy, but you are also protecting yourself and your neighbor and the best part is that the person handing out candy will think that your idea is so clever and very thoughtful that you might end up getting more candy for your creativity. So the bigger your RC truck is, the more candy you can put in it. You can actually use a broomstick as a way to extend your reach to get to your candy. Again, the purpose here is to social distance. For example, you can unscrew the stick from the broom and on one end attach a fake decorative Halloween zombie hand. This one came from the dollar store and it hangs on pretty well with some tape. Carry it with you when you go out trick or treating in your neighborhood and just have your neighbors put candy on the fake hand. Very simple, right? Now if you're the one passing out candy, you can make a candy tube. Just go to your local dollar store and get yourself large pieces of poster paper. For example, these two right here, we are gonna roll them up at a reasonable size. And yes guys, a lot of tape is needed for this, but once you have both rolls ready, we attach them together to make our candy tube that much longer preferably six feet long. So when your trick-or-treaters approach you, simply tell them to stay back and use the candy tube to safely deliver candy into their treat baskets. It's actually quite fun seeing this. Again, you as the trick-or-treater can also carry your very own candy tube with you to ensure social distancing. Mm. 
While at the dollar store I also picked up this reaching tool which I will call the claw. This thing sells itself pretty much guys. The claw closes shut when you apply pressure on the trigger on the opposite end. So basically you can use this to reach into treat baskets and grab some candy. What I recommend though is you get yourself a plastic cup and grip it with the claw and have your neighbors put a handful of candy in your cup. It's very simple and very easy and again guys you might end up getting more candy for your creativity. For one buck this reaching tool was definitely worth it. This next idea was in Fatals. Basically what you can do is buy a super large treat bag such as the one you see right here. It was bought at the dollar store and it actually matches my background. Wow I was blown away when I first saw this. Also at the dollar store we bought this squeegee meant to clean windows. For this idea we won't be using it for its intended purpose but rather just another extender. So just hang the bag on the squeegee and extend it towards your neighbor so they can put some candy in there for you. This year you won't have to really worry about buying an expensive mask because pretty much every day we wear a mask, right? Well here's a creative way to use a plastic face shield such as the one you see right here. Just put it on and decorate it with some markers or sharpies. For example here I'll be giving some fatal some facial hair. It's just as easy and simple as it looks guys. Seriously get creative with this, now you won't have to go out and spend a lot of money on a Halloween mask. You'll just be wearing a face shield that will keep you protected and it will also be appropriate for trick or treating. If you currently have a cool mask and you don't mind modifying it you can try the following. Simply just cut off the top portion of it, basically anything above the nose. With this you can still use your regular mouth cover underneath but also you can have this mask over it and it will look very cool during the Halloween season. Last but not least guys, COVID or no COVID, this technique of passing out candy will always work, especially if you're as lazy as my next door neighbor. All you gotta do is fill up a large street basket and leave it outside your porch. Next to it leave a sign that says please take one, meaning just one candy per kid, right? You can watch over it from afar or just leave it outside and continue watching scary movies on Halloween night. Let's just hope your little trick or treaters don't take more candy than they should. I know I never followed the rules, but if you're smart you can actually talk to your trick or treaters from inside your home, so it's a really great way to stay socially distanced. And those were some of my fun but safe ideas for trick or treating or handing out candy this year on Halloween night. I hope that what you guys learned during this video comes in handy and that it helps you stay safe on October 31st. And before I wrap up this video here is a reminder of the giveaways I'm having. If this video gets 2000 likes I will give away a treat basket filled with 500 pieces of candy. If this video gets 5000 likes I will give away a treat basket filled with 1000 pieces of candy. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will give away a treat basket filled with 2,000 pieces of candy. And to participate, all you have to do is like this video and leave a cool comment below. That is it guys, very simple, very easy, right? Now guys, whether trick or treating happens this year or not, I still want to wish you an awesome and safe Halloween. Thanks for watching pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video.